Buongiorno. Very stick here. Where are we today? Well, just in case I uh, pronounce it incorrectly, I'll put it on the screen right now. But what a view. We've got an old town with modern facilities and down there, you can't really see it from here, but down there is a Lido. Costs you two pound, a, well, two euros a day to park there. And there's swimming pools, there's, there's bars and cafes. It's a fantastic facility. And of course, this place, where we are now, is just moments away. So if you want somewhere for a base, certainly a beach holiday, then uh, this town is one you really want to take notice of. As I've already mentioned, the uh, village itself, or the town really, it's a proper town, has an old quarter, which we'll have a walk around in a minute, uh, and uh, a newer area where there's lots of uh, offices, sorry, lots of cafes, bars, uh, supermarkets. It's got everything you need. It really is a first-class place for a holiday base, or if you want to buy a holiday home and perhaps rent it out on Airbnb, this is somewhere you need to visit. Well, we found our first um, uh, church in Petacato. So let's go in and uh, have a look. I have been in here before actually. It's not a particularly big church. Uh, it's quite nice. It's a very interesting church actually. There, uh, there is a crypt below. Uh, I don't think there's anything in it now, but we'll certainly go and have a look. Wooden roof, that's something that's quite unusual uh, in these parts. Have that exposed, exposed brick instead of stone. Uh, and an asp, that's the rounded bit, on the other end of the church. Let's have a look around. There's um, one of those glass floors here. It doesn't say what. I assume that's an old um, grave. Mrs. Stick doesn't like to walk on these. It is a bit scary. What's the worst that could possibly happen? <laughs> I don't know. Some information about the church. So that was the Church of Santa Maria. Very nice too. Obviously been restored, very lovingly, and well worth a visit. Let's go and look at some houses. What a great house. It looks like it's lived in. It's certainly very grand. Kind of place where you probably need quite a bit of money <laughs> to make it work. 
they let the flowers here as well and the motorbikes that pretty very pretty it's nice I like this quiet little um, hidden places I'm not absolutely certain that bike has got much more life in it if I'm honest <laughs> that's pretty up there quite a little place to sit enjoy a glass of wine read a book pass a warm afternoon wonderful another brick building here seems to quite uh, quite like the brick buildings a bit far from the mountains so perhaps access to stone is not quite as uh, as easy it's an orange it is an orange tree see them up there plenty of them another little quiet area bit of a project I didn't say it's for sale but uh, you could ask how's here's for sale I don't know which bit whether it's the yellow bit the white bit or the grey bit <laughs> let's go and have a look plenty of work here as well plenty of work going on renovation the building right in front of us there is uh, is being renovated that's a good sign we like to see that it means there's life about and there's money and people are prepared to spend it looks like well looks at this there's some work going on it's only a hell of a project <laughs> and I didn't finish yet Mrs Stick with her eagle eye and spotted this one as well it's quite pretty that I like this little area at the front to sit with the chairs nice colour I like the green I wonder if it's a block of flats actually yeah it is I think you can see just there the um, the bell system so it's a it's a block of flats but a great holiday location if you're interested there's the number I have no idea who it is or whatever but you can give it a go it's quite open around here which is nice because we get the breeze uh, as well as a little bit of shade from the buildings because if you remember what I've said on previous videos in these old town centres where the buildings are close together you can sometimes come a cropper really and get no breeze coming through and it's like living and trying to sleep in an oven all night and that's never the best thing Now, this is a project, it really is. Not only is the house itself, well, at least it looks in good order and is, is for sale, I think you can probably get the number off there, but the view over the top of them trees is, uh, is of the sea and the beach. In fact, that one's for sale as well. A green one on the end and they will certainly have um, a direct view of the sea Ooh. It, um, it's getting better and better I really do like it here it is what it is it's not a quaint little mountain hilltop village but it does have that uh, on the other side there is the mountains as well so we're going to have a look at that in a sec but yeah this is uh, a very nice place to be of course if you really wanted to buy, buy somewhere with a view on the other side of that building this is what you see 
Wow. I don't kill myself on the way down. I could look at that all day long. And it's that building there that's for sale. So you put a, a terrace up there. And it's a steep hillside going down, so nobody's going to ever interrupt that view. And down there is the, uh, what I call the Lido, I think it's actually called the port of uh, Ponte Checo. I'll check on that. So that's the house to buy. We even got uh, a B&B &B here. Nice place. That's a telephone number. If you fancy staying here, info e-booking. Pentecheco. I think I keep saying it with Pantacheco or Pentacheco. It's Pentacheco. That's the place. I'll put a little um, Google Earth map up so everybody knows where it is. Very different house there. Because view over the mountains, I think it's a bit... I think with all this really hot weather we've been having, there's a lot of dust in the atmosphere and you can't really see the mountains, but that's what that house is looking at. As opposed to the other houses on that side, which of course, looking at the sea. Which would you prefer? Not that dog, I know that. I like the, uh, the roots on this tree. They're all gnarled up, aren't they? Wow, oh, I don't know what kind of tree it is. I'm not, uh, I'm no expert or boriculturalist, but it's clearly something that's of some age and uh, enjoys living here. If you have any ideas, leave a, a comment below. It'd be interesting to find out. I think probably see the mountains a bit better on the on this shot. Much quieter around the back here. Of course, no no road. Well, no main road. So it's a bit quieter. The bells ring. I don't know if the mic can pick that up. Very Italian. I think that was too strike so it must be near enough two o'clock. Yeah the cicadas rattling away. Cool that's a balcony and a half. Wow <laughs> what a view. This uh, Petta Cecco, I probably got that right sometime, um, it's kind of spread out. The main town's up here on the ridge and then there's a few little areas of houses a little bit further down. A lot of them are, are very modern and a lot of them look are very expensive. Given that it's lunchtime, the main centre has got a lot quieter, but we're going to go up there next, see what we can find. But this is a, an information sign. In Casa Albergo, Hotel Dinaro, Dinardo, Carabinieri, the centre, the town hall, uh, doctor's surgery, an elementary school, a media school, oh, a sports centre and a market. So there's lots to do here. And all down here is lots of shops and bars and uh, little cafes, which we shall go and uh, have a look at. Town centre. A bit quieter at the minute, of course, because because uh, it's lunchtime. The bars are open, most of them anyway. Plenty of places to park, plenty of shops, supermarkets, all kinds of stuff. Very pleasant. Certainly lots of, uh, of options in the town centre. Very pretty. Cool. I mean, that street itself, we're taking an hour to walk down there and an hour to walk back again. Bit of life about the place. There's a lovely bar here. Chris Reichlin having a coffee, having a beer. Wonderful. It just keeps going. Post office, sports centre. What more could you want? A lot more modern here. It's later addition, some nice apartments. Real nice atmosphere. Great holiday location, although I've said that before. Well, it's getting warm, so me and Mrs. Stick 
have decided to stop for a coke and a sandwich. It couldn't get much better really than stopping at a place like this. Could be a lot worse. <laughs> Just found another sign here and that brown one there, the marina of uh, Petacciato is what I was talking about. It's not called the Lido, it's a, a marina. There's also, and I didn't know this, a station, that's that one, just there. So there's a station not far from here. So whether you're coming from Pescara, Chieti, San Salvo, Vasto, and you want that beach holiday, wow, this place is really easy to get to. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, tour of Ponticecco. Uh, a mixture, a lovely mixture of old buildings uh, and the newer center with the uh, office, with the shops, I keep saying offices, I don't know why, with the shops, supermarkets, bars, cafes, fantastic facility. And as you can hear from the cars in the background, uh, it's a lively place, a tourist place, but something if you want to base yourself somewhere, certainly near the beach, this is the place to come. If you want to buy a house and perhaps rent it out when you're not here, this would be a fantastic choice. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that tour. A uh, little bit of a change for our next video. Uh, hopefully we'll be going on a house tour. So uh, until next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. So until next time, this is Vario Stick saying ciao ciao for now.